My boy Tony was chilling in the Humvee, having all the soldiers hop on a shaboing boing until the car in front of them exploded. So all the soldiers get out of the Humvees, telling Tony to stay in there, and then they all get cooked. So Tony does what white man does best, and that's run away from his problems. Yep. Until his problems turn out to be his own missiles that he sold, and now when he got time huh? broke, and now he got about 37,000 pieces of shrapnel in his chest. So after getting blew up, he wakes up and he's been captured by the 10 rings. They asked Tony to make them a Jericho missile out of all the missiles they've stolen from Dark Industries and some scraps they got in his cave. Or he's gonna boom you. Oh yeah, and he got this metal magnet reactor in his chest, making sure the shrapnel doesn't reach his heart, keeping him alive. But while all this is happening, Tony's starting to have a coming to Jesus moment. He's like, damn. I might not have been the best person my whole life. Once me and the bro get out of here, I forgot to mention Jensen, but he saved Tony. So Tony and Jensen are building the Jericho missile, but Jensen starts looking at this hose like, wait a minute, that don't, that don't look like no damn bomb. And Tony's like, yeah, no, I'm making a suit of armor. I'm finna get us out of here. And out of literal scraps and some missile leftovers, Tony builds the Mark I. Jensen tries to boot it up for Tony, but it's not enough time. They boom, Jensen. And now Tony is getting ready to cook all these dudes in a blind fit of rage. I'm talking about little bro pulls up in the cave in the dark and Tony's hiding in the shadows. Who does bro think he is, Batman? But he socks the mess out of bro, sending him flying back 50 feet. The other three dudes that were there that saw that happen just start firing randomly. But Tony pulls up, blocking all the shots with his armor. Backhands bro on the left, and then backhands bro on the right. And then he hits bro in front of him with this nasty ass right hook. He starts walking down the hallway, clearing it out, hitting dudes with backhands, punching them back 30,000 feet. And I just gotta ask, after you see your co-worker get flung 30 feet back, why are you still trying to fight this dude, get man? Your bullets aren't help. working, so like, why even try? Some dude tries to run away, and Tony just hits bro with this nasty back fist. Damn. Oh, nah, I had him doing flips. That nasty back, that nasty back flip hit, and most likely him making him flip too. Oh yeah, that man should be knocked out for sure. In everything. But these guys start to wisen up. They see Tony walking towards them and they start running away. But the guy at the very end starts taking pot shots at Tony, still trying to get some licks in. And you know what bro's friend said? They said we not having none of that. And they they did him so they his the other people that locked locked in and ran and left the other dude take the take the uh take the hit. They called for that. We got new merch. I want to show y'all real quick. We got the Chill With Ant be beanie hat and the Chill With Ant 99 Heal The World uh, long sleeve sweat sweatshirt. And if you want to get any of these merch, you can go down to my description link down below. And for one, for one month only, if you buy any of these merch, you can use my promo code. It's called Chill Ant and you get 10% off. And I'll leave it down in the description, description box. I appreciate it the love more merch coming on the way enjoy the rest of the video I locked him outside leaving him with tony if i was doing i made it out alive i'm hunting those three dudes for the rest of my life we don't even know what happened to bro he just started screaming and then he stopped and tony opened tony the door no. i can only assume he got turned into ethereal dust yep but after tony opens the door he hits someone else with another backhand but now he's his arm stuck in the rocks and then this dumbass pulls up on tony with the glock real slowly tries to shoot him in the head i don't know what bro thought was gonna happen if every other part of this suit of armor was bulletproof what makes you think the head isn't specifically because trust me if it was bulletproof and for the homie trying to uh pulling up on him and trying to hit trying to shoot him yeah that ain't gonna work buddy bulletproof too he shoots tony in the head but his bullet ricochets off of tony and booms himself i know dude is in the afterlife tight tony pulls yep. up and he sees jensen on three percent health right now but then the 10 rings leader tries to shoot tony with a rocket launcher but tony Ooh. dodges the <laughs> shot and then drops some rocks on bro and then he's trying to save jensen but jensen's like hey dude i'm already cooked bro go ahead do this without me dog so tony comes out the cave and then the 10 rings members start letting the yopper spray on the iron man suit until all their clips are are empty and then tony like you know what it's my turn and then he starts literally cooking these guys alive tony then starts burning all the missiles that they stole from him and then the entire base blows up and tony hits the jets literally and flies out of there but tony really didn't have a chance to test out you know flying because he was in captivity so he crash lands he gets up some helicopters find him and now tony's back home after bro is back home he's like you know what we're not gonna make bombs anymore or no but dies like Bro, what are you doing? You must be tripping, bro. Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't listen to him. We're still making bombs. We fast forward a bit, and Tony's made the Mark II and the Mark III suit. He sees that. That suit.
clean as hell. Hinton's hometown is getting attacked by the 10 rings and some of the missiles that they still stole from Tony's. And so he's like, you know what? Time to put this suit I just built to good work. Tony pulls up on the terrorist, but golly, bro, look at bro. He got an arm on him. Why did he throw a little bro like that? That's not cool. I just yeah, feel really bad for bro it. that got hit first because Tony pulled up on him and punched <laughs> him. But golly, look at how Damn. many flips bro did in the air. So Tony then booms the guy on his left and then the guy on his right. And then he double blasts the guy in front of him. I'm just saying, double blast got to hurt like crazy. Oh, Some yeah. of the terrorists are holding hostages saying, hey, if you move, we're going to cook everybody here. So Tony pulls out the shoulder missiles and claps all of them up easy work but look at bro trying to hide tony not letting you slip through his fingers gang nope. so he grips bro up through the wall and he throws him to the people tony flies away and say hey y'all can deal with him i just know they stomped bro out like what happened they in that one episode in part five of jojo's tony starts flying mm. away trying to blow up the jericho missiles they stole from him but then he gets shot out of the air <laughs> by a tank the tank tries to shoot Tony one more time, but Tony just nonchalantly sidesteps out of the way and then shoots a missile at the tank, blowing it up. And Tony still blows up the Jericho missile, getting rid of all the terrorists in Gomira. We skip forward a bit, and it turns out that Obadiah bald whole ass was the one that got Tony captured in the Damn. first place. And then he turns on the people that captured Tony so he could take the Mark I blueprints for himself and make it bigger and better to ultimately sell the ultimate weapon, which is just a suit of armor. All because he wanted this suit of armor and what's about to happen to him. I know for a fact this man, Iron Man, is definitely going to get his revenge on him for sure. For the, everybody. So Obadiah gets people to make the warmonger suit and then he pulls up on Tony inside his own house and rips his arc reactor out of bro's chest. Pepper found out about Obadiah building the warmonger suit and she called S.H.I.E.L.D. to come pull up on bro. But it was a little too late because they pull up and then this big dumb stupid ass robot pops up from out the shadows and starts cooking everybody. I'm talking about look at the way bro backhanded this S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. But in that same time you see something that big that fast running at you and you're still shooting it with a gun and yeah the f you you be in that type of situation you have something big like that coming at you i'm out of that like i would rather i'm fine i'm hitting the hitting the jets and i'm getting out of there and hiding you ain't getting me fuck that and it's doing nothing i'm not gonna lie bro kind of deserve that Pepper gets out the building, but Obadiah just starts tunneling out the ground. I'm telling you, beef is never that serious to where the point I got to start tunneling out the ground. Like, you got it at that point. Mm -hmm. But bro pulls out a Gatlin gun and was finna start booming Pepper. But Tony pulls up for the clutch just in time. And he grabs Obadiah to go flying under the ground through the building. Damn. Finally onto the highway. But Ironmonger picks up a car with a full-ass family in it. But then Tony says, hey. Put him down and chest blast, bro. He catches the car while it's in the air, putting the family down. And then Obadiah violates. He pulls up on Tony, grabs some dude's bike off of him, and then he just smacks the mess oh. out of Tony. Oh, nah. And then, bro, football punts the mess out of Tony, picks him up, and then slams him on the ground. He starts stomping on Tony while he's on the ground. And then he picks, bro, up like an actual toy. Look at this size comparison. No way am I letting another grown man pick me up with one hand and just have Hell me held nah. in his hand. Like, that's crazy. Obadiah then throws Tony into a bus and shoots a missile at him. Like, this combo is crazy. But Tony recovers, and then he starts flying all the way up to maximum altitude. And Obadiah quickly follows. But Obadiah never checked the freezing quality because bro is now in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And he freezes up in the air. Tony gives bro a good bonk on the head, and he starts falling right back down. Tony also falls back down because bro is on 2% juice right now in his Iron Man suit. Tony takes off his right glove getting ready to get out the Iron Man suit because he thinks he's won. But Obadiah pulls up and was finna hit Tony with the nastiest right hook oh, I've ever boy. seen. But Tony dodged. He was about to counter with a hand blast, but he just took that glove took off. It off. Obadiah still rocked Tony. Had that bro spinning like a Beyblade, but then he comes back to Obadiah and hits him with a Superman punch. But that ain't even really do nothing to bro because he grabs Tony and starts bear hugging him. Tony then hit Obadiah with a flashbang and he let go. Bro starts hiding and he's talking to Pepper telling her, Hey, Jordy, I'm going to need you to turn up that arc reactor so he can boom, bro. So while Pepper is doing that with the arc reactor, Tony jumps on Ironmonger's back and starts ripping out bro's cords. Ironmonger grips Tony by the head and then launches bro. Oh, nah. 
and then Iron Monger is a typical villain spiel. He opens up the Iron Monger cockpit and then he just starts talking crazy for hella long too. But he's trying to shoot at Tony, but Tony messed up bro's walk on. So he's just missing aimlessly and bro is still yapping, putting me to sleep. But Tony says, Pepper, go ahead, flip the switch. And the arc reactor shoots a goddamn Kamehameha booming over Dyer. Like, look at the sky. Are you sure Shenron's not finna come down and grant me a wish? And, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the end of the fight. Tony won. Oral of the story is don't fight a robot man that got red on him. They're either Optimus Prime or Iron Man, and you don't mm -hmm. want any of those problems. But, uh, yeah, man, if you liked, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff, and, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. Yep. This man Obadiah really betrayed Iron Man all because for some stupid bullshit and most likely for the Iron Man armor. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is this man really legit betrayed his own people just to help with the terrorists. Yeah. Obadiah really deserved that ass, ass whooping for sure. Like, moral of the story, do not fight. Fight Iron Man because if you do, you're going to fuck around and find out. But this... Yeah, Iron Man, he really was the GOAT. Like, he really got it out the mud, and he really is the GOAT Iron Man, for sure. Nobody can can't say otherwise. But this was a really dope video over, overall. Cool on nine. Shout out to you, dear bro. So, comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video so much. I appreciate the time. I love y'all so much for showing love and support to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you run some likes, subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss any of the videos. All that good stuff. Roll to 1K is up and stuck. Thanks for chilling with me. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.